Welcome back, everyone. I think lately I've been telling you a lot of stories, I know, but I have a good one for you. You got to go back to the mid-70s, and my wife and I were in Saratoga. Our, our daughter was this big. She was five years old. We're dropping off her first day preschool at the Beagle School here in Saratoga. We're crying. We can't stand the thought that she's leaving us. She turns around and goes, is this my school? We said, yes. And she said, bye. That was it. She never turned back. <laughs> These ladies today with me are from the Beagle School. I've got to tell you, there's, you can look at education a couple of different ways. You can look at it, sit in a row, don't talk, learn your lesson, do your homework, or you can really appreciate the fact that to nurture someone at that age, at that tender age, and give them the sense of you learn through play, explore things, discover things about yourself, build a sense of friends and family and community. Well, the Beagle School has always stood for that. And joining me today is the director. This is Jessica Toddenhagen. <laughs> Welcome, <laughs> Jess. You. Very nice to have you here. And two board members, Mary Caitlin and uh, Carlin, I'm sorry, and Kate <laughs> Fitzpatrick. Very nice to have you here. You. Uh, they're here because we got word that the Beagle School was having a fundraiser. And the Beagle School is independently owned. And I really want you to learn something about the school and go to this fundraiser. So Jess, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with you. You're the director. Yes. Uh, having the personal experience that I just went through mm -hmm. just nails it for me. But how do you feel about it? You're the director. Before I became the director, I was a mom of two kids at the Beagle School. And I saw firsthand how it shaped my boys and helped them mm -hmm. to become the students they are, to become the good little boys they are today. Yeah, the young adults. Young adults, that, that's exactly. Right, exactly right. Um, you all have experiences like this too. You, we do. Same for you, right? Yes, I have uh, a graduate who was in kindergarten and has very fond memories of the school and my four-year-old is uh, halfway through Beagle School right now. Right. And um, we love it. It's Mary, do you find, I know you have uh, children there too, do you, do you find what I said to be applicable to your experience too? That the yes. whole sense of learning through playing and, you know, you go to pick your child up after uh, Beagle School, their faces are lit up. Right, right. My daughter would actually ignore me because she wanted to stay forever at the Beagle School. That's and right. she's in kindergarten now. And almost every week she asks me, when can I go back to the Beagle School? Because yes. she just loved it. I could see her walking around with her binoculars, playing and mm -hmm. learning and... You know, it's just incredible. It really is. It's unique. You don't find that these no, days. No, you don't. Uh, you know, our daughter turned out to be a patent attorney, but she plays the violin. And we know it's directly related to the experiences she had when mm -hmm. she was younger because we, she had the opportunity, being at the Beagle School, to be able to, you know, learn through playing and walk around with the binoculars. I yeah. know that. And the pirate ship, <laughs> yes, right? Pirate, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Is the pirate ship still there? The pirate ship is still there and still something that every child, it's their favorite thing, That's something right. they remember for years to come. Yeah, without a doubt. Mm -hmm. uh, needs a little repair, though, it doesn't does, it? It does, yes. Yeah, so, okay. The pirate ship is in need of some help. <laughs> okay, here's the segue. The segue <laughs> is, is that they've got a fundraising concert coming up. There's a couple of ways you can participate, and I'll tell you in a minute. But the Beagle School happens to be located in a historic building in Saratoga. Yep. Good news and bad news, always associated with that story. So you, you really do need to raise some money, right? Yes, we are in a historic area of Saratoga, and our building is in need of some repairs. Yes, we have right. a little red schoolhouse that we would love to stay in. We just need to give it mm -hmm. a little love. Mm -hmm. And make sure the pirate ship stays afloat, of course. right? Oh, don't of course. forget that. You cannot mess with the pirate <laughs> no, ship. Do no. not mess with the pirate <laughs> ship. <laughs> the uh, concert, and uh, they went big on this one, which is why we really need your support. Uh, Lori Berkner is a really well known, nationally known artist, singer songwriter, performs with a band, uh, and all of the music is geared towards young people. And uh, I think one of you was telling me, was you was telling me that you actually used the music at the Beagle School. We do. Her music fits right in with our learning through play mentality, and mm -hmm. um, her songs are catchy and fun and mm -hmm. um, teach children things. And, um, That's right. So we have a lot of ties to her, and now we're bringing her here. So they did. They reached out <laughs> to her. Not an inexpensive artist to get. I'm sure you did well enough with getting her to come because of the way she has designed her career, how she wants to help, mm -hmm. but it's expensive. And uh, there's a concert on Saturday, 11 o'clock in the morning. There you go. 
Don't have to worry about midnight. 11 <laughs> o'clock in the morning, the 21st, which is a Saturday, April, at Saratoga High, right? Mm -hmm. yes. At the auditorium. Yep, yes. the oh, Lohenberg Great space. Auditorium. Yes, it is. And they had two levels of tickets to just give you a, a sample of the kind of support the Beagle School gets in the community. They've got the VIP seats, they're sold out. Uh, but there's plenty of opportunity uh, for the general admission to be able to get in there, bring your family, come in and uh, see a, a nationally known artist. And the money that's being raised is going back in to make certain that the Beagle School survives, <laughs> sustains itself, and keeps the pirate ship afloat. <laughs> and one other thing, too, I just wanted to mention that uh, the money that they're raising up front, part of that money, I'm going to actually ask you to tell me because you had, had told me earlier, some of the money that you're raising now is not only going to the Beagle School, but we have reached out to community businesses to donate tickets that have been given to local children that may not otherwise have an opportunity to attend a concert like this. And we have received quite a few donations and we're very grateful for those. And we are sending a large number of children to the concert and we're really excited about that. Well, that's wonderful. When you just think about just the children being able to talk to themselves, just sharing the experience that they go to a concert like this is meaningful for them mm -hmm. and for their families as well. Um, we've got a website we can go to? Yes, beagleschool.com. Boy, that's easy. Beagle School <laughs> with an A. B-E-A. -E yep, B-E-A. Yeah. Yep. Beagleschool.com. Exactly. Okay, beagleschool.com. There's ticket information there. If your business or an individual would like to contribute up front uh, in terms of supplying tickets for children to go to this event, and the money, of course, is still funneling back to the Beagle School, please do that, but go to the website. BeagleSchool.com. Mary, a pleasure to meet you. Thank Kate, you. Thank Jessica, you. Thank, thank you very much thank for coming you. in. Thank you. And thank you for all the good work you do. It's such an impressionable age, and the impact that you have on these children at that age stays with them their whole life. Mm -hmm. Done deal. Yes. You got it. Okay. <laughs> Go to the concert. <laughs> and if you want to see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.